first on the go. Ooh, traffic alerts on the thruway this morning. Let's take a look at the first one first. And the left lane of the westbound thruway between the Verona and Canastota exits is blocked after a crash that happened around 540. 911 dispatchers say at least one tractor trailer was involved. A look at the, some of the backup there. So slow going westbound between Verona and Canastota on the thruway. Another crash westbound near Liverpool has closed the right lane there. State DOT report this one happened about 615. Again, this westbound slowdown is on the throughway between Electronics Parkway and the Route 57 Liverpool exit. We are still waiting on test results from the city of Syracuse after potentially harmful algal blooms were spotted on Scanny Atlas Lake, which supplies water for the city. The DOC says no blooms were ever seen near the city drinking water intake pipes. Well, mosquito pools in both Onondaga and Oswego counties have now showed positive for the triple E virus. The pools in question are around the Cicero Swamp and Toad Harbor areas. Onondaga County plans to aerial spray as early as next week in Cicero. Well, Western New York Congressman Chris Collins not backing down after he was arrested for insider trading. The 27th District Congressman vowing to remain on the ballot for re-election this November. Prosecutors say that he used his position on the board of a biotech company to tip off his son to sell stock before its value dropped sharply. Collins says that he will mount a vigorous defense to clear his name. Update now on that $20 million fine levied against the North Syracuse School District by the state of New York. The clock is now ticking for Governor Andrew Cuomo to either sign or veto a forgiveness bill that would wipe out that debt. We've reached out to the governor's office, haven't yet heard back on what position he has on that bill or whether he will sign it. He has until August 18th to make the decision.